Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Let's talk about uh, Django models. I'll show how to define constraints uh, for Django models and uh, how you could report errors based on those constraints uh, to the UI through Django views. So let's switch uh, to my desktop. Let's go to development environment. And this sample application uh, is based on uh, Django HTMX uh, sandbox application, which is available on my GitHub. Uh, the source code is uh, the URL to the source code is below the video, so you can go there. Uh, all the source source code is, is there, and you could run the application on your uh, own environment if you want. So you don't need to repeat all the steps uh, by yourself uh, from this application. Uh, all the source case, all the source code is already uh, created and is available to you. And what I'll do, I'll explain the most important uh, parts so that. Uh, it will be quicker uh, for you instead of uh, following uh, everything step by step. You could just go and uh, check uh, important stuff and uh, test application on your own environment and uh, understand how to apply the same on your own applications. Okay, so uh, Django models are quite useful thing uh, when you want to build um, application which works with database structure. So with Django model, you could define uh, like a table structure, for example, through the Python class. And uh, then afterwards, you could migrate this structure and uh, with, with Django utility, it would create uh, database uh, table definition in a local uh, database that comes out of the box with Django or probably you could generate the same structure for a remote database that runs on the cloud or on-premise, whatever. But uh, the key thing is that uh, when you build Django model, you define the class, you define attributes, and you could define uh, uh, you, you can define different attributes like a precision and, and so on for each of the elements of the class. Like uh, in this example, uh, we see that first name, max length is 20, then employee ID is defined as a primary key, then phone number is set uh, to be uh, to be allowed to be blank and max length 20 and so on. And if you look into the department ID, department ID is set as a foreign key, which points to the department model. And department model is uh, another class uh, with its own set of uh, columns and attributes. Okay, so we define all the fields of the class and afterwards this uh, uh, another area meta where you could define ordering of out of the box ordering when data is displayed out of this model and constraints. So in this example, I have two constraints. First one is um, a check constraint and uh, another one is a unique constraint. So check constraint uh, checks uh, for the salary attribute to be uh, above zero positive. If uh, user is trying to enter negative value, then uh, out of the box validation error message will be returned. Uh, for the unique constraint, it's also quite uh, simple. You define a field, for example, email and uh, Django will automatically enforce that uh, values that the user is trying to save to the input, uh, to the email field, uh, all those values will be unique. So yeah, that's all. So that's the main idea of the model. You define the fields, you can define uh, attributes like a precision, uh, if uh, element can be null or if it's a primary key or it's a foreign key and then you can define constraints uh, uh, to enforce that the data which will be saved to this model uh, is correct. Okay, and uh, then as soon as you have a model, you could uh, actually uh, enforce uh, all those constraints when data is being saved. And uh, we'll talk about this later uh, when we actually try to validate the form and we'll talk about the form in another, in the next video, <clears throat> but the idea is that you can have a model form which is based on the model. And when you validate uh, model form, then uh, all the validations that are coming from the model are automatically kicked in and uh, are checked, so you don't need to call anything separately. And as soon as uh, at least one validation fails, then you'll uh, get the result that validation failed, obviously, and uh, we'll go to the else block over here and we can read all the validation errors from forms.errors.values. 
so we can construct the context with the list of errors and uh, <clears throat> push it back uh, with the H with HTML template and uh, this list of errors later in on HTML side can be <clears throat> can be iterated and displayed. Like in our case, we have um, if you go to the edit form here in the bottom, we have a, a feedback block from partials. This one. If I open it, then we'll see this uh, uh, for loop which iterates through a list of errors that were returned with Django context and uh, basically stamps HTML code. So for each error, it will display uh, alert uh, with uh, information. And HTML structure for the alert is taken from flow byte library, uh, which is implemented on, on top of Tailwind. So you can get this layout out of the box. All right, so let's see how this model uh, constraints think work. Let's uh, run the application. Okay, application started. Let's copy uh, this URL and uh, let's go to the browser. Okay, so this is the application and if I click uh, on, the, on the first entry, let's say, then uh, we get uh, edit form. And I will try to put uh, negative salary, save, and then immediately get a validation error saying invalid salary. It must be in range. Right. And okay, if we go and try also to put non unique email over here and press save, then it says that employee with this email already exists. So both errors, are bo both constraints are enforced as expected. And uh, validation prevents uh, saving uh, invalid data to the database. Okay, so this was quick overview of uh, Django model, what it can do, how you can define fields and how you can define attributes to the fields, uh, uh, different constraints, and um, how you could uh, automatically validate the data and uh, get a list of errors, if any, and return back to the UI. So in the next video, I'll talk about uh, model form, and we'll see how we can define the form in Django, which uh, based on this form, we could uh, render uh, UI on, on top uh, with HTML. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.